Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Coconut RTS video. Why do content creators get everything nerfed? Let's take a look at this. This video has been popping off. Let's get into it. We're often tormented by the fact we're not everything we could be. There's this vision we have, an idealization of the person we want to be. Oftentimes, it's this very image which torments us within our sleep. There was once Batman? a content creator That's valid. tormented by images of perfection. And these ideas of torment were not just embodied within his thoughts or feelings. No. These ideas were physically embodied in front of him. So he tried fighting these demons and ended up conquering them. Only to be punished for his actions. Not Batman. We're Anyone but oh, we're not a dowsy. Everything we could be, and there's this vision we have, an idealization of the person we want to be. That was a good video, by the way. Sometimes it's this very image which torments us within our sleep. We once had a being developer tormented with images uh -huh. of perfection, and these ideas of torment. We're not just embodied within his thoughts or yep. feelings. It was different this time. All of the flaws that were tortured were physically embodied in front of him. So, signature look of superiority. And he conquered them. Only to end up punished for his actions. The most controversial video, Dead by Daylight. Man, this person would be probably this person would probably be really good at making Rust videos. I ain't even gonna lie. Coconut, if you listen to this. It all started with a developer live stream that was broadcasted live on January twentieth, twenty twenty-two. Two years ago. Fact, this would become one of the last live broadcasted Q and A's. Oh. Please understand, I am simplifying. They don't do Q and A's anymore. I didn't even know that. A while ago. Thank you, sir. How do I, uh, DVD? Damn it. What's the channel called? It all started with a. Oh, so it's just Dead by Daylight. Got it. Dead by Daylight. They don't do Q and A's anymore. Let's see. <sighs> Holy crap! Anyway. Uh, videos. That's true. They haven't done Q&A for a while. Collection, collection. What was the, uh... The developer live stream. That was broadcasted live on January 20th, 2022. Matter in fact, this would become. Oh crap, I didn't want to. My bad, I'm, I'm so invested into actually seeing this. Matter in fact, live stream QA. It'll say QA right on it two years ago. Got it. Yep, none of these so far say QA. Did it get taken down? No, no, it didn't get taken down. Around the campfire two years ago. What was it next to? In fact, this would be modern. Something with the word modern in the, in the title. Nope, right here. Here it is. And there hasn't been a Q&A since. There's another Q&A. Yeah, there hasn't been a Q&A since. Two years ago, that was the hockey video. That was a bad time for everybody. Updates, yeah, there hasn't. That's crazy. All right, continuing. Become one of the last shit live Get out broadcasted Q and A's. The day. Please understand, I am simplifying some things here. Don't. That Q and A was so bad. Tell I'm saying. I'm trying to keep this brief. Uh, but there's a common misconception that by using just kills and escapes to adjust your MMR, it's ignoring skill in the game this isn't 
the truth, so this is false. And I'll use hockey as an example. You wouldn't say they only count wins when placing teams in the standings, but they should also count shots on goal too. A more skilled player takes more shots. While that's certainly true, it's important to remember that shots lead to goals, which lead to wins. Yeah, but it's not a one it's not one guy versus four people plus a goalie. It's how how many people are even on a hockey team? I don't even watch hockey, I don't even know. But it's probably like five V five or six V six of different skill like what do you mean skilled play leads to wins if they don't are they really skilled play well i mean in that situation good good team effort would lead to wins but i mean you're not entirely wrong but at the same time dead by daylight is not fucking hockey man like it's such a poor Which poor analogy sense to a lot of people it didn't and it still doesn't the best looper in the world but you died for your plays would my plays be any less skilled if I didn't escape? If you're doing a 360, you're playing the game wrong, by the way. We're incredible. That they only works against noobs and people with low sensitivity. Oh. There it is. There it is. There it is. What a shot. This slot. Look at that freaking hatchet. <laughs> For all development. That's what I like doing. That's my messing around in the game right there. This is when Dowsy decided to challenge this team. Ooh, Dowsy. Dark and darker and warlock. Oh. Argument, even when explicitly told not to do so. If running the killer for five gens doesn't get you a win, was it really a skilled play in the first place? Va valid Twitter tweet, by the way. Valid tweet. Literally, everybody was thinking, saying that. I, uh, I'm gonna expect the chat to explode in two seconds. With that, oh hell yeah! I guess I'm one of the worst. You expected it because you know that your analogy was fucking dumb. But anyway. Hours to ever exist. There's no fucking way. Girl, what? Are they cracked out? Girl? All Twitch chat blew up at this too. They were furious. Yeah. They are really dedicated to their version of MMR. That it's blinded them to the truth. Yep. As a result of Dowsy's following tweet, I logged on today to find my Twitch shirt and Dead by Daylight had been removed from my account, which were cosmetics that could only be obtained when directly given by a game developer. That was petty as shit, you know, by the way. When this happened, Dowsy reached out to ask if there was some sort of mistake, and Behavior replied, Hello Josh, the team was made aware of some recent conduct that does not meet the standards of exemplary conduct that content creators who own these items are expected to uphold. In this case, starting a member of the development team. Mm -hmm. As such, it wasn't even a target, it was, it was taking what he said and putting it into Dead by Daylight terms. That's literally what it was. Everybody was doing that. It it wasn't just just Dowsy, but Dowsy's the one that said it. These items have been removed. It wasn't even a harassment or nothing. This decision like, is final. Thank you, the DVD team. So stupid. Please understand I am simplifying some things here. Why have fog whispers if the fog whispers can't even criticize what you're doing with the game? You know what I mean? Like there's good criticism and then there's being an asshole. What Dowsy did was just criticism. It was just applying logic to Dead by Daylight. That's all it was. Too, too much into In a tweet. Tell I'm saying. Firstly, was behavior in the right to take away his Twitch shirts when explicitly mentioning not to criticize their logic? No, because you put an opinion out there about your game. You put an opinion out there, no matter what it is, it's going to get criticized. So you telling people not to criticize your opinion, I mean, that right there should tell you that your opinion was fucking dumb in the first place. Secondly, if their argument was logically sound, wouldn't it just have been better to counter Dowsy with words? Yeah, exactly. Why didn't you just, why didn't, wouldn't you just say, hey, this is what we're trying, this is what we're trying to explain it like this, instead of just here, Twitch shirt gone, cosmetics gone, bye-bye. Defensible. So stupid. And most importantly, what if Dowsy was right? Dowsy was right. Dowsy's still right. In response to all this, Dowsy made a video under the title Kills. That's a good freaking video. I'm surprised it doesn't have any more views than what it does. So good. In the history of Dead by Daylight. Mm -hmm. This video would become the reason. The icon. Not just one or two, but three killer nerfs to come. And likely. Not those specific killers. A complete revamp to the way behavior developed dead by daylight mm -hmm. let's start out with the beginning of this video where he began playing leatherface all right time to play some dead by daylight let's make sure i don't say anything that will get more cosmetics <laughs> right, it's taking a little while let's get a wordle done the wordle picky 
okay. Oh yes, of course. Kills. Kills. I and a K in it. Wait a second. And then skill. Oh. Holy my. crap. God. I actually think I owe Patrick an apology. I cannot believe I didn't see it before. This video was so good. <laughs> and I know exactly what I need to do to become a high MMR Dead by Daylight player. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the most skillful killer this game. Puts on a Mori. First, <laughs> down to survive. Mm hmm. Okay, so our first lucky survivor, we'll just chuck her on this. Uh, Back in the day, when you had an iridescent Mori, the second you downed somebody, you could just kill him instantly. Uh, this scourge will It was great. And start camping them. Now you have to hook somebody before you can do it, and then down them. DC, two kills right there. Two kills already? Wow. Yep, two kills right there. Playing a skillful game so skillful. Oh, this is just typical average Bubba, though, but... <laughs> Done. Now, obviously, stunning isn't necessarily skillful. Neither is mm -hmm. running the killer for a long period of time. Yeah. Both of skillful, those not skillful at all. The mm -hmm. of a survivor is whether they escaped or not. Yep. Boom. All right. Well, nice try, Meg. You tried yep. to outrun me, but I guess. Tried. Skillful. Not very skillful. So that palace done, one though. One of the things I find very interesting and, and kind of based, if you think about it, from Behavior Steps is that even though that Meg did a pretty good job of extending a chase versus me, if she mm -hmm. dies now, none of that matters because if you die at the end of the game, then that is more of a representation of your skill than if you were able to do anything during the game yep. itself. Right. Exactly. The person, the person hiding in a locker could be more skillful than you are even though you're doing all the gens but because you did all the gens and you died but that person hiding in a locker the entire game in a locker the entire game and escaped he's better than you are and all he did was hide in a locker and i'm talking about good old dwighty poo i love dwighty poo are they really skilled plays <laughs> Right? If your skilled play doesn't get you to win, yep. was it really a skilled play in the first place? Yep. Really I mean, hiding in a locker, you escape. Oh my god, that guy is so skilled. Wow. I don't want to question that really too much, or else I might, might have my cosmetics removed. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Meg. Not skillful enough this game. Nice try, though. But uh, everything you did didn't matter in the end. Because yep. This is why yep. Behavior added an <laughs> anti-camping feature to Dead by Daylight. I don't know if it was because of that. I think that uh, the reason they added that was because ultimately the game push you to get kills and the outcome of that was to simply find ways to get kills uh i think adding this bar has nothing to do with dowsy but this adding this bar has something to do with the devs being stupid which fills a meter whenever the killer is within 16 meters of the hook. So I don't know if it's, I don't know if that is related to Dowsy, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Unhook themselves. But I think it's a little bit of a stretch there. So I looked up a guide on how to be an efficient and skillful high MMR killer. All right, here we go. We'll have to see which box makes most sense to stand in front of. Maybe just this one. And that bar wasn't added until Dowsy quit the game. And that was like two years ago. Right. That bar is new still. Yeah, I guess we just have to go for the one that we spawned in front of, right? Looks like Nancy already got a bear trap off. Nice and quick. The question is, will the survivors do generators activating the bear traps? Mm -hmm. And it's active. Oh, uh, hey, Jonah, how you doing? Nice to see you. I wonder what would happen if they didn't yeah, that, that's fine. do it. I I'm going to I'm gonna stand here for a little bit, all right, mate? Don't worry about it. If that oh, man. box didn't have it and he doesn't get it off right now, then that's it. Jonah the way to counter this would be to have everybody go on a gen. And then hopefully when everybody pops, because they just popped one gen, I think it was. There's two gens left. I think that everybody should have done their own gen. And then once that happened, I'm pretty sure if everybody left, that person might have lived. Maybe. I don't know how much time is there. That person could have been dead no matter what. However, I think if they did it like that... I mean, with two gens, it should be two and two. But if everybody figured out what was happening right away, I think that person might have escaped. Can't tell happen. for sure. And he doesn't get it off right now. Then that's it. Jonah's dead. Mm -hmm. I can kill a survivor without lifting a muscle. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. Boom. Look at that skill. Love it, face good. So. Behavior completely so there was a counter to this, but you only knew of the counter if 
if you were in a swift otherwise you probably died no matter what players have been camping out in front of the final jigsaw box blocking a survivor from being able to get rid of their reverse bear trap mm -hmm. with these changes this strategy will no longer work kills equals skill in dead by day yep. but i'm not done yet so because the devs is so set in their ways apparently leads to they started nerfing stuff you wouldn't say they only count wins when placing teams in the standings but they should also count shots on goal too a more skilled player takes more shots it's important to remember that you could take you could take a shot from if you have two goals right and your goals over here and the goals over here and some fucking dumb fuck is taking a fucking shot at the net the other net from his net from his goal why would you put that person on a team that person's a moron get the fuck out of here you ain't gonna get a goal <laughs> yeah. to goals. that's one in a million so shots lead to goals which lead to wins in dead by daylight but that doesn't make any sense because if we put our minds to it we can become the best esports competitive hockey goalie god this was so good <laughs> this this specific clip was so good <laughs> the greatest hockey arena alive known to man and we best hockey arena why Dead by Daylight is like hockey. Mm -hmm. He had to go for hooks for this to work too. And he had to go for four fresh hooks. And hit the right. obsession four times too. I think it was. That's our first down and kill. That's oh, right. Go to your room and think about what you've done. Yep. Had to get four fresh hooks and hit the survivor four times. Okay. All right. That's our remember me. So there's the four fresh hits. Four and that's the four fresh hooks. And now we just need to find Nia. And then boom. <laughs> Killed the Nia. Because Nia is the one that can uh, open the door fast, because she's the obsession. With no obsession to stop me, I yep. go to my exit gate and I wait to become the true Dead by Daylight hockey goalie. That Deliberately I let them the do the gens. Of generators being done. The I think. Uh, determination and skill. Actually, I don't think it would have mattered. Block goals, and I'm ready to finalize Patrick's true vision become the high MMR killer that Dead by Daylight didn't deserve but they needed. Yep. Super skill. Watch this. Watch this skill. Boom. <laughs> the best player ever. Holy crap. I don't let that falter. At the end of the day, goal scored against you is not great. The best player in the world. That person's got huge skill. <laughs> waiting oh you think hmm. you can get past me kate think again kate no way are you getting out of this exit gate yes you can both be here you can both try so what's hat you cannot get past me because i know how to block this gate you yep. shall not pass the great gandalf once said and you better start running yep. that's right mm -hmm. i have trained so hard for this very moment this is pure Skill yep. in dead by dead. And there is no possible way they would have been able to open up the other exit. Know how to play hockey. Because he has two perks helping him make that exit take longer. Understood. The aim of Dead by Daylight is to score as many goals as possible. It's too late yep. because the goalie is four stacks to block it and then four stacks to open it slowly. There's no way they escape. I mean, granted, they might have been able to escape, but I don't think so. I don't think they wouldn't even had enough time. They wasted some of the time at, at over here though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful! This mm -hmm. is how the developers want you to play the game. So I implore you to go enjoy yourself. Nerf. Exactly. Now loses her collision 30 seconds after entering her dormant state. Mm -hmm. This means that she will no longer body block vault locations or doorways after that time, mm -hmm. allowing survivors to pass through her. As a result of this video, Behavior realized there were some flaws with their logic. Oh hell yeah! Implemented changes to the only time behavior realizes flaws is when they themselves do something. For example, the only reason why flashlights eventually got nerfed was because of I think Matthew, who played against a very sweaty, might have been comp esports, um, Chinese Asian, some team like that, and he was getting blinded literally every two seconds. He could not physically play the game. And after that situation happened, then the flashlights got nerfed. So these three playstyles from the game. And eight months after the release of this video, Patrick announced his departure from working. Yeah, good. Fuck. I didn't even know he left. Good. Get that idiot out of there. That guy's a goddamn moron. Behavior interactive. See ya.
after all this, it seemed that Dowsy had gotten his point across. Mm -hmm. Showed the developers why their ideas were wrong. Good. With the development team responding accordingly thereafter. Yep. So, everything. It was wrong. What they did was wrong. Right? No, because I'll the be game is still not ho about hooks. I really wish that were the case. Exactly. And then it leaves. Yeah, that's true. Whilst nerfing these strategies made them less viable, did this make behavior's logic behind skill any more correct? What if there were more play styles like this? And if oh, there is. Would that mean these killers needed nerfs too? Mm -hmm. Well, so many play styles that they had to actually add in a camp bar. That's exactly what I wanted to find out. There was once a game developer named Alma. That guy looks like a mad scientist. I like the way that guy looks. On Huntress. He wound up a hatchet and started mm -hmm. staring at a hooked survivor. That, that's, that's, I used to do that. I mean, that's not new, nothing new to me. If he held this position for the remainder of the match, mm -hmm. he could effectively camp Oop. every survivor yep. until they were sacrificed. Uh, this person's using barbecue. I don't know if you can see that. This person's using barbecue. That might have been when barbecue gave you uh, blood points, which means that this might have been before um, the base kit borrow time, which is why when he goes and backs up, Held this position. Which is why when this person's on the hook and he backs Remember up, the match? it was because the HUD is not is, is not like that anymore. So that person gets off the hook, boom, boop, immediately down because if the person that saved them had borrowed time, it wouldn't go off because borrowed time only works in the terror radius and Huntress has a lullaby. So you just have to be far enough for them to come save them. And if that person is using, we're gonna live forever, the, li the likelihood of him saving him that fast is because he wanted his, te his, his token to get one token to go towards more blood points with we're gonna live forever. Um, so this, I'm almost positive this was, it had to be before base kit borrow time. Otherwise that person would not have went down right there. They would have got the, the, the borrow time, the proc, and that person would have ran away. Every survivor until they were sacrificed. And as a so, just hit the myself, same person again, put them back on the hook. The first time I'd ever seen a strategy like this. I have not. This is not the first time. I decided time. to try it out. I've been doing it so for a long time. Game, we're gonna we're gonna do something a little a little sussy. <laughs> now doing it with the base kit borrow time is interesting. You only have to hit the person that's not getting off the hook. It's now what if we just not hard. Like, wait here mm -hmm. with with an iridescent head. And just like watch down anyone Boom. that goes for the save. Has to get a hatchet. Only gets one hatchet. Okay. I would I would have at some point used um see I wouldn't even use I wouldn't even use this perk right here. I would have used um whatever the that perk is to open the locker faster so you can get a hatchet fast. You only got one hatchet. So if you can get a hatchet quickly, quickly, that's more pressure you can apply. So I would change this this perk out, and I would put that that locker one, Iron Maiden. I think it is. I guess Iron Maiden. That's what I would put put instead. Because who cares about that perk? You have a one shot hatchet. If I do this. I can Easy. Down anyone that goes for the save. Yeah. Yep. I go for the save. Yeah. The second they boom. Oh. Right, down the guy that goes for the save. And then let's, let's rinse repeat this again. So if I if I just stare at her, we can in theory make it so that it's impossible to save her, right? Oh, that we. Experiment with. And essentially, I did this until everyone. The uh, the counter to this would be to just do the generators. Just let the the huntress sit there and camp that person. The most effective way to counter camping is to just do generators. Once you figure out that the hunters is going to camp every time someone goes for the save and hit you, that's when you start doing generators because you know that she's there's a good chance that she's not gonna move. So that's that's ultimately the way to counter that play. Tapping the maximum you can hold to just one. Mm -hmm. This strategy still works, which it does. leads me to for now. my next killer, Michael Myers. Insert mm -hmm. obligatory kills equals skill statement here. Michael Myers has an add-on called Tombstone Piece, which allows him to instantly kill survivors. 
this mm-hmm. model. But there's there's also a counter that to the counter once you realize that he has an insta kill is to do gens and when you hear him coming find a locker so before you do anything know where your lockers are and then immediately start running to that locker when you hear him coming so he can't just kill you that's that's what the play is bypass the theoretical 12 hook maximum for killing just keep doing generators after that get to it All right, so this time with Tombstone Keys, we're gonna to try to insta-stalk and let's see if we could kill people. Not insta-stalk, it's insta-kill, but that's okay. okay. I like the edits, very nice, very clean. 99 her. Okay. Dead. See, this person is in the, uh, this person is in the shack and when you there's a certain hand movement that happens to let you know that you're going to get one shot so i think instead of playing around there she should have just went to the pallet and just dropped it immediately uh, or went into a locker but it wouldn't have mattered either way her she should have went to the locker to be honest she should have made sure that it was actually going to be uh, just an insta down rather than an insta kill. Is it a hand? I don't know if it's. I think it's a hand gesture. I just forget if it's open or closed. Nia's maxed out. So let's find another survivor here. I think if it's open, he's going to grab you and kill you. Two stacks. And that should be three stacks. Go, oh, hey, Sable. How's it going? Mm hmm. How's it, how's it going? Should not have crouched and stayed there. He should have threw that pallet down and kept running. And then you ran back to where he was. That was a bad play. Okay, all right. Now, now, um, let's go find the next Sable, I guess. Hmm. So now we're gonna go to Sable. <laughs> Unable to make the pallet rip. Okay, no, Sable's dead. Wow. Granted, if, if he had specifically picked this map because the lockers are further away from everything, that's a, that's a big brain move. It w <laughs> and wow, would you look at that? Oh, that was a 4K. That was like a four minute game. Yeah, seems about right. And now, <laughs> if you go by the developer's logic behind kills equals skill. But there's counters to both of those plays. More killers in need of a nerf. But wait, kills equals skill in Dead by Daylight. But I'm not done, done yet. yet. Holy Dude, crap, he's not done. I'm not just doing one killer, but two killers at the same time. Namely, with Trapper and Hack. Ooh, both these doing basement the stuff. To lock down areas with traps, mm -hmm. which cannot just injure survivors, but block survivors from leaving too. Mm -hmm. We'll set up at the shack, which comprises of only three ways in, as well as only three ways out. Yep. We can force survivors into a tight location such as this. We not only can prevent survivors from leaving, but we kill them faster without ever having to traverse the map. That's this true. We'll well, not entirely true. You, still have, to, you have to find someone in order to put someone in the basement so it's not entirely true it's the basement to spawn at shack the game plan hook a survivor in the basement mm -hmm. i would not use monstrous shrine every time i use this park i i tend to find that the survivors four percent off the hook increases and it's like what what is i have monstrous shrine bro <laughs> like what uh i would use uh yep grasp agitation say the best flash is a good option i would use that thing where if if a survivor comes to body block you you smack them and it pauses the wiggle time that's a good perk you should use that over monster shrine kill 100 percent. yeah I've forgotten ruins what the heck okay so so for basement trapper mm -hmm. i love basement trapper this person, he knows to put the trap inside because inside they have to vault over. People put the trap outside, you're making a huge mistake. You have to put the trap inside. It's way more effective. A window and way more effective inside. I don't know what the fuck that guy was doing. Get closer. Get closer. Maybe he just came to say hi. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got two people boys that come down to grandpa's pantry grandpa be it does not happen like that that's 
interesting. It does not happen like that. You have to go around the map. He's probably getting stream sniped, maybe. Cooking. Grandpa wants to take you down so you can bake some cookies for him. We it does not happen like that. Two people just don't come to the shack randomly and walk into your traps. Alarm system it doesn't happen. <laughs> for our house. But this time we bought our alarm equipment from Alibaba. Jeff Bezos tells me I need to go back to, to defend my territory. Base is under attack. Mm -hmm. And since Jeff Bezos is such a nice guy, since he's not such a nice guy, mm -hmm. uh, Boom. I can never leave. Boom. Yeah, yeah, not even you. No, no, you're not going to have time for that. You ain't. You're not yep. going to have time for that. Where are you going to go? Boom, trap. Oh, no. Maple barbecue. That's the way to do it. Because people eventually, if you're playing with a Swift, the Swift know that if someone is trying to disarm the trap, the other person who's stuck in the in the shack can actually walk through him, but the killer can't. So the killer would get stuck. Um, which is why it's good to do what he was doing, which is to put a trap inside and outside, inside and outside. So they'd have to disarm these two traps, which gives you more time to actually capture this person because they have to actually do something before they can... Um, this one doesn't really matter, but they'd have to do something before uh, the person can just walk through. Gonna have time for that. Where are you gonna go? There it is. Uh, no. Maple barbecue. So that's actually a smart play. You get a nice, uh, a nice char. I don't know. No. No, not so the counter to this would be to just stay as far away as possible from the killer shack and just do gens. If someone is in the basement and you know it's a trapper, that person's probably dead. Not today. Not today. There's nowhere to go, team. There's nowhere to go. No, 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 no. See the fish fillets. They're not well done. Mm. But people get too altruistic because they have to. Because if everybody has to escape for some reason when it comes to Survivor, it's like not everybody has to has to has to escape. Everybody has a role to play, basically. And they paid the iron price for setting off my 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 Jeff Bezos alarm system. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, now that that's everybody dead. And uh, well, yeah, everyone everyone's dead. You could do this with Leatherface too. It's more fun with Leatherface. I now not only killed survivors by standing still, but by staring at them and only staying in shock. Yep. Huntress, Myers, Trapper. If you get a good Swift team, it's not that easy to do. There's no, a common no. misconception. Not Trapper. Trapper is fucking crazy. Games. There's hair all Adjust over. Your MMR. Mm. It's ignoring skill in the game. Uh, this isn't the truth, though. This is false. Kills and escapes are proxies for skill. In that They're skilled not. play inherently leads to kills or escapes. It's important they don't. to remember that shots lead to goals, which lead to wins. So For hockey, know, yeah. Cut the middleman out there. So who for hockey, is yeah. Is this middleman? Not for Dead by Daylight. Is he important? And most importantly... Why does cutting him out lead to so many killer nerfs? Because they're so fucking focused in their way that they just don't want to admit that they're wrong. They started to feel like the game was going in a really bad direction, balance-wise, mm -hmm. a very stale direction. I mean, yeah. I used it. They released three back-to-back -back killers of the same playstyle. It was trash. And then the behavior team showed the skull merchant on the yep. PTB. And I've covered every PTB in Dead by Daylight since the Spirits release. And this is the first time on a public test build that I played only a handful of matches and went, I can't do this anymore. I yep. hate this so much. Genuinely have such disdain towards this product that's being presented to me. For maybe and then they released now, uh, talking about Dead by the Daylight thing or something like that. How I believe the same, the same style of play. The current design team from Behavior showcases to me personally that I don't believe they have an understanding of how to balance Dead by Daylight to be fun. Oh, they don't. The yep. continued release of characters like the Skull Merchant and the Knight and perks that accompany them show that Behavior are pretty happy, honestly, creating unfun metas for both Killer and the Survivor. Yep. They want to do whatever the hell they want to do. When they're not going to listen. Until the... people start leaving because of the Skull Merchant. People started leaving, so like, okay, let's do something different now. Sentiment. But... You'll notice a pattern of how everything is basically the same with a twist. I don't know if anyone knows th notices this yet, but I s hope to God that people find this out quick. Where almost every single thing, this the game has gotten so full of so much shit that everything in it already exists when they come up with a new idea. Something already exists, but they take it and they give it a twist. 
and it's like okay well why would i want to use this twist perk over their actual perk that does it way better you know what i mean kills equal skill a set of problems there's too much shit in the game killers can win matches afk camping boring holding hatchets staying in by the way killers don't find this i mean trap uh, trapper basement is fun though but for the most part killers don't want to just sit there in front of a hook and just do nothing while everybody bum rushes the hook it's boring nobody likes that plus then it leads to stressful situations where you gotta try and get uh where you're trying to do specific things but it's hard because you have everybody butt rushing the hook you know what i mean so basically i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about but i do know that killers don't want to sit there and just watch someone on a hook it's boring okay killers don't want to sit there and slug three people on the ground is boring strategy wise they'll do it but to just outright just say hey i have a killer who is slugging me and now they're trying to like do this fucking back and forth movement which i think it's called i don't know what the fuck it's called in this game i just see people do it i'm like what the fuck's happening here this is so stupid anyway to doing that movement and uh and to think that that person applies to every killer it's like no not every killer wants to do that that's stupid shit okay which i want to improve on the game you know what I mean? I want to get better skills in the game. Sitting here is not improving anything other than me getting bored because I got to watch you die because the game is about kills over hooks. And it's boring. I don't like it. I don't have to chase anybody. I don't have to go kick generators. I can ignore 90% of the game and just kill people by using these builds. And it's boring. It's not fun. Leading to a massive sweep of nerfs which sounds reasonable at first, until you realize seven killers and counting need nerfs because of it. Yeah. A system designed behind kills further incentivizes players to use builds optimizing kills. Exactly. Of course, because that's what you do. Of so course. Killers gravitate towards these builds. And it's boring. These are the only viable builds left. Mm -hmm. Leading to the aforementioned steel meta Dowsy mentioned previously. I yep. started to feel like the game was going in a really bad direction, balance-wise. And it is. Direction. It still is. I don't. Even, I don't play the game don't as a result. Help any of this, but limit the pool of viable builds even more. Now, mm -hmm. kills equal skill incentivizes killers to play in ways that are actually unskilled. What does optimizing around kills actually mean? It optimizes the game around kills. Yeah, that's all it does. Just That's as it. Many kills as possible. Yep. And so, if we assume kills do not equal skill, is there a replacement that's possibly better? Maybe yes. There is. there is. Remember how Behavior mentioned they were cutting the middleman out from the equation? Mm -hmm. I think the answer lies in that very statement. And this leads me to one of the most hotly debated topics in all of Dead by Daylight of kills versus hooks. Yes. Being used as a metric of skill for. Me. I don't understand how people thought that kills would be the, a, a good fresh fun way to push the game i i don't understand how people thought that it doesn't make any sense to me because people are going to look for the way to get kills the easiest with doing the least amount of effort that's that's exactly what would have happened and it did happen I, I don't get it it takes a maximum of three what were people thinking each survivor in dead by daylight Yes. It is often seen as the process a killer mm -hmm. needs to partake in. Yes, the progress of cooking. Yes, exactly. And thus, yes. we have our middleman. Yes. Existing in a debate between true talent and alt star. Also true. Two hours. It was crazy. The, 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 this video, this first video got me so fucking pissed, pissed off at Ots. Because he was taking such over exaggerated examples and trying to apply it as a reason to push the game towards kills and it's like what are you talking about like i, I you're so nice but like what are you doing <laughs> what i don't understand and i got so pissed off that i just assumed that he was just kissing the devs ass because there's no way you thought that this game could be pushed into a good state a good healthy fun state basing the entire game off of kills it just didn't make sense to me and i was so pissed i i just assumed that he had to be kissing the devs ass 
game could be balanced that you because there's no way kills. would you want that i wouldn't base it on right? kills i'd base it on hooks yeah the base it on hooks you have if you haven't seen that first video you have to you have to watch actually these two videos these two videos are crazy or they might just mention the most important parts in this one should the game but the first one pissed me off so much and then in the second one he realized that kills were bad and it's like yes Yes, now that it's in the game and it's implemented in the game, you can see how they're bad. You went from... It, it, it took you to actually see that it was a problem to then change your mind. Instead of just thinking about it for... Instead of just thinking about it and using good examples as to why it would be bad. Rather than using the most freaking... Like the one in a million examples, he would always use it, and he'd always get shut down by by true because they're they're crazy examples. It's just not gonna happen in a normal game. It might happen in one in every fifty, seventy, eighty games. It's so rare, but not every single game is gonna be like that with the examples he used. And the balance around hooks or kills. These clips have been hooks from two completely different timelines. The first clip is from before kills equal skill yeah exactly and yes and then after before the implementation oh. of the kills equal skill based matchmaking system yes the second clip is from after kills there we go. equal skill yep and also after, after sbmm yes of the when everybody started leaving once they introduced sbmm and kills was the way to increase your sbmm it was unfun it was poor gameplay, and the meta was stale as shit, and everybody left. Skill -based matchmaking. So how? So why? Why is it that this community only realizes things after it's done, instead of just thinking about it and trying to come up with? I just don't understand. Like the the hooks over kills was so easy, so simple. The hooks get tracked for both killer and survivor killer has a little circle and it's like hey this is how many hooks you got here you go this is this is how far we are with the hooks and then survivors have it tracked where it's like little freaking just i don't know whatever they're called numerals i guess ticks or whatever they're called anyway but like it's already tracked the hook was the middleman so It just doesn't make any sense, man. I'm just so mad. <laughs> but like, why does it take for after things to happen for people to realize that, hey, they're actually bad? That's my biggest concern with this community. Only after is something implemented do they say, hey, this is bad. Because nobody can rationally think about it before it gets implemented and what could happen in the future that aren't drastic situations just to prove that they're their uh their idea isn't wrong i think that's what the main problem is most likely is that people want to be right about everything that they refuse to be wrong so they use drastic examples to try and prove that they're right only to get knocked down and later to be proven wrong when they actually implement the idea i want to show you the divide between these <sighs> two separate types. not only that but i'm sorry i'm gonna pause again not only that but when you have so many content creators coming out and saying hey, let's push the game this way. And then you got one person saying, no, this is bad, let's push it this way. Well, then everybody's going to dogpile on the guy that's pushing it the other way because everybody else said it was a good idea to push it this way. And it's like, okay, well, let's just, let's just think about it for like 10 seconds. Just think about it. Give us some, act not 10 seconds, but give us some actual thought as to why it would be better to push the game towards hooks rather than kills. Think about it. Timelines, so we can get a better understanding of the cycle. So everybody dog piles, and then they won't change their mind until those content creators all say, "Hey, let's push the game in this direction, the same direction that the one person was already going." I don't understand, man. Kills equal skill. That's the thing that pisses me off the most in this game is the community. Kills as a method encompasses more gameplay choices and is an adequate way to measure your success. Obviously, it doesn't. Kills and then it counts something else. That's wonderful. This is mm -hmm. literally my stance. Okay. If you push this game where it's all about hooks, not the kills, I think it goes a healthier direction. It, it will. It will. It will improve the game dramatically. Um. 
and eventually things will start to balance themselves out because the devs have more accurate data over someone who is playing pig and camping one trap, one trap, whatever the hell they're called, one trap thing, and getting one kill. So that person who sat at one trap is now part of the data because they got one kill with that trap and it didn't do anything. That's what the ultimate, that's what the problem is, is the data is poor because the choices that the devs are making are also poor. Few months or weeks of MMR where it was super strict. Destroyed a lot, destroyed a lot of DVD, that a lot. It did, it was I, bad. No, I know what you mean. Oh, that, yeah. was, that was terrible, when dude. When I play Survivor, I... That's when I stopped playing too, and then so went back for a little bit. These killers who try and just get kills, mm -hmm. it's so boring. I went against a school mother. It is. I don't think they're being toxic, like a valid tactic. Boring as Oh, uh, you mean the whole, the I'm not going to go for hooks and I'm just going to slowly bleed everyone well, out? Everyone with four merge and they're yep. trying to get kills because the game's about kills. Yeah. Right? It's not really you that controls the amount of hooks survivors give you. It's usually mostly them. If we're That's not true. Um, you can control it, um, but it also relies a little bit on them making mistakes. But for the most part, if you can counter them, you should be able to get a hook, no problem. Going to make a game revolve so I don't fully agree with that. that. Survivors are the ones that are in control. You can have a game with four survivors where one of them never shows up. There's a group of survivors trying... You could have that, that's true. I was actually more impressed with the killers getting just a hook on that. Can you imagine how yeah. impressed it is? Survivors, if you let them, they can be very efficient. Here's where you are supposed to... Yeah, but just don't touch the keyboard. That's how efficient they can be. <laughs> pressure on their weakest link then they'll have to come in and take a hit then gameplay occurs and i think kills are okay for that i think that if in a tournament obviously tournaments are extreme examples this mm -hmm. yeah. is a massively extreme example to be the entire thing is an extreme example yeah <laughs> and you it was well is that so interesting the about the whole body blocking and altruism the thing is, back then, I thought that that was interesting. I thought, yeah, let a good team show how good they are at taking hits for each other and protecting their weaker links. Mm -hmm. But... Most of the people playing Dead by Daylight don't do that. And the ones that try to do it don't do it efficiently. You're trying to compare that stuff to like comp stuff. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Comp actually has it so that to keep the game more interesting, they encourage going for multiple hooks and multiple fresh hooks. So comp is already doing what everybody else wants the devs to do. And that's why comp is getting more entertaining because it has better gameplay for it than the base game does right now. That's why everybody's switching over to comp at the moment. That's why there's increased numbers of people coming over to comp because it's more entertaining to watch someone try to go for hooks rather than stand there and just try to get guaranteed kills instead. The thing is now the game, I feel when I think altruism, it's no longer really fun. The whole dying on pallet with background player. Flashlights being made a little bit easier. So for the like, people, buckle up. Like, all of these things that have been slowly added to the game are so... And it's it's unfortunate that Ots only saw this after the implementation. That's what sucks. And I genuinely think the worst case scenario of the hooks would still be more interesting. It would be. It would be way more interesting. Would you be happy then? Comp yeah. And comp... If you go watch comp right now, comp proves all of it. It would be way more interesting to watch people try and get as many hooks as they could rather than seeing people try and get three, four kills per game. And MMO, way more interesting. Around, now you're paired against people that have around your hours. So this is what I'm scared about. And this is what kind of got me. Why, 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 why are you scared about it? Shouldn't that be great? And it was like carbon copy every lobby, same map offering, same perks, same items. I, I was playing yep. against the same five there people back and forth. If I'm going yep. against people with the same knowledge, the same understanding, it'll be a very uninteresting game. The, the MMR yes. system three years ago was like the time before it was implemented. Before it was way easier because we could just go against chill people all the time. Yeah. Before against... MMR, the game was more fun. You can bring any build the chances of you running into sweaty people wasn't that high compared to sbmm where now sbmm is in the game now you can only run meta builds otherwise you ain't gonna have any fun because you're going against sweats and you're gonna be losing the entire time it's boring against really strong players it's much harder obviously yeah mean something they tell a bit of what happened in that match they should, you know? yes they don't but they should yeah no they don't in the current match yeah not right now but they if it, if it was implemented they would on stream their MR yes. system is not going to be just based on kills they said that they tested a system like that what and it, it just did <laughs> not work but exactly and what's sad is that they tested the system based off of kills said hey this system doesn't work we're going to rethink it and then they just 
added it anyway. <laughs> it's not good data to use. I have yep. want to go for hooks compared to camping, slugging, going for kills playstyle, so we can get more accurate and organized and more healthy data. Yes. Observe how the game can be balanced more smoothly. Therefore, yes. Being able to address more detailed and convoluted problems so that yes. we maximize more unique, fun playstyles without any unnecessary troubleshooting. He just wants to maximize fun while correlating balance accordingly. However, it's yes. to cash out things efficiently with the best data we can conceive. I do think yes. to incentivize positive, healthy gameplay, survivors need to go for hooks to help the teammates out. Killers need to go for chasers, getting multiple hooks once again. This is something mm -hmm. I predicted when we had the last conversation. The middleman is needed for a game like Dead by Daylight. We're gonna find strategies on kills. Right. Kills is the incentive. Chasing and hooks is that middleman. When focusing only on kills, there's a sense of nuance lost, mm -hmm. not only in gameplay, but also in the data. Yes, you see this fucking data? See this data? This data is, I mean, Trapper, I mean, t there. But like, this data is ridiculous. How Wesker, to be fair, Wesker was just released. So him being at the top kind of makes sense. But Wesker was still new. So from September of 2022, Ooh, I don't know when this chart was released to say what I was going to say. But I mean, Nurse, these three people right here should not be in the fourth slot. They should be way higher, right? For kills. Yeah, for kills. So I don't know what, what's going on with this fucking dad. But I think... <sighs> I feel like the data is manipulated so that people will buy because Wesker just got released. So I feel like it would it would be manipulated so that Wesker appears first on the charts so that the devs can sell Wesker in the shop because he just got released and looking for profits. That that is what this chart tells me. Okay, greed is what's happening with Wesker being in first in the first spot. Okay, um, the kill rate. Top 5% MMR. Like, that's it's just not true. It's just not true. I guarantee you these th these three or at least two out of the three killers right here would be in the top 5% MMR. 100%. Like, you ain't going to convince me otherwise. These are the best three killers in the game. So there's no way that these guys are at 61%. They should be a lot higher at 5% MMR where you're playing the top of the top. Wesker is not going to stand a chance at that level. Actually, maybe because he was just released and so people were just learning him. But these other characters, no way. I, I don't believe that. So ever since I saw this chart, I, as soon as I saw Wesker in first, I was like, this chart's bullshit. <laughs> chart's a fucking complete bullshit. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Philosophy does not solely rely on basing design decisions just on 61. statistically. But to give our data more leeway, hence hooks, reflecting more of a player's mm -hmm. sense of fun and enjoyment within our Yeah, and the hooks is tracked right, right there, right here. Oh, and not shit. Only that, and In that corner is where it was. Diversity, I lost my mouse. Which is the opposite of nerfing everything into oblivion. Mm -hmm. To encourage the wide right here, tracked. And then the survivors would have little ticks up here, one, two, and then dead. I told you, kills equal skill likely was the reason for a complete revamp the way behavior developed dead by day yep. which is not wow. necessarily true for this video is a gamble to showcasing the fundamental issue to a problem that should have been fixed two years ago in the first place it should have been but on the yep. other hand when it comes to the other things developers are doing to make their game more fun by experimenting with in-game modifiers, a perk randomizer, and even- I just want to say that I, I don't understand why we're putting in- a brain God damn it. Experimenting with in-game mod- I don't understand why we're putting in these little like, um, these little like mini playlists when, and just keep it in there for a week. Why are you adding stuff like this and keep it in there for a week and then really, and then taking it out? It's basically a PTB. That's basically what it is. It's just a PTB. And it's like, why? Why don't, you just, why don't you just take it and just leave it in there for people to play when they want to play it? I don't get it. A perk randomizer and even a brand I don't get it. 2v8 game mode. The reason why we play this game so much, man, that we all And the perk randomizer wasn't even that fun because it's, it's still escapes and kills. So it's, it's just, who cares? 
question about it. <laughs> we won what's best for it, man. I mm. love this game. And Same. I know a lot of you guys do too. Mm. I want to make it clear, this isn't a video intended to flame anyone, but to tell a story that I believe is an integral part for not only the betterment of the game, but the community itself. Th this game has so much potential. It does. It would be amazing it did. to live in a world where we can see it reach its fullest. Mm -hmm. If you made it this far, I say thank you. And if there's anything I would like you to take from this video is if you have a vision behind a problem you can do something about, the only thing I ask of you is to act. Because who knows what type of impact your vision can have when you're not afraid to fight your demons and conquer them. So, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like to check out any more videos from me, there should be a couple on this end screen here. And I hope you guys have a good one. Peace. Hey, what a good video. Oh. Often tormented by the fact Thanks, man. I don't wanna I don't wanna watch it a second time. <laughs> Such a oh Dazzy Riff kills equals skill. <laughs> Kills equals skill. Mm. And you missed the puck. You have to play DVD again in a way you're ditching us. Why play for skill then, am I right? The community can define its own skill. That's also true. Got me and the DVD still miss you. You're brave, so true. Dowsy equals skill. Behavior sucks. So many people. I, I, don't, I wonder how many people of these, how many of these people still play the game. Because... I guarantee you that the people that oh god dang it, the people that uh, consume Dead by Daylight content still want to play the game, but they're just waiting to have a reason to jump back into the game. Because if you look at Dead by Daylight on the Steam charts now, or Steam DB, that's what I use. It's twenty nine thousand. The game, the game doesn't grow. That's the problem, you know. It reached its peak at 100,000, which was like, what, right here? God dang it, I can't even see. Oh, here we go. 100, well, yeah, right here. It reached its peak at 100,000, and it, it's not growing. It just has these up and down dips, and that's the problem. And the only reason why it has up and down dips is when they release a new character, whether it be Killer Survivor, uh, when they release new, like, patches... And stuff like, oh, the patches, I don't know about the patches. The patches maybe have a little bit of an increase. But mostly when they have new characters, sometimes cosmetics, stuff like that. That's when people start to come back and then leave again. But as you can see, as I'm going across this board right here, I don't know if you can see it actually, my bad. As I'm going across this board right here, the game hasn't really grown. God dang it, come on. The game hasn't really grown at all. Okay, well, now I can't do it because there we go. Okay, the game hasn't grown. So it was growing here, right? 40,000 and then near room and then up and down and all that kind of stuff. 60,000, 70,000. The game ever since its life cycle started, ever since it started, has always had up and downs. And it's never gone past. Sorry, it's never reached, it's never reached the full potential that it could reach, Right. And it would always go back down to uh, 29, 40,000 and 24 hours. It's actually pretty good. But like I said, it, like these numbers are good numbers. They're not bad numbers. Don't get me wrong. And that's just PC, right? But it, when you come back to this chart every day, you realize that it's, it's not growing. It's just not growing. And that's ultimately the problem. And it's not growing because the devs are making poor decisions that everybody knows are poor decisions, but they just don't want to admit for whatever reason that they're wrong about something. They're just stuck in their ways. And, uh... It's just sad. I don't want to see these up and down spikes. I want to see it grow. I want to see it thrive. I want to see it reach the potential that I know the game has because there's nothing else like this game on the market other than Texas Chainsaw. But that's like... The, the fucking devs are, are stupid in that game too. But... Not as stupid as fucking behavior there is, though. Holy shit. But, uh... A million followers, but never had a million players. Look at that. Uh... What is this owner estimation things? Twitch stats. Uh, 14,000 right now. 28,000 24-hour peak. Uh, all-time peak was 256. So there was more people watching it on Twitch... 
uh, than there was actually playing it. And that's ultimately what the problem is. Why aren't these people coming in here and playing the game? How come this isn't 400,000 right now? All of them are right here. You know what I mean? I want to see it grow. But it's not going to with the way that the, dev, the devs are acting. It's just not going to. That's why it's, it feels like a complete waste of time playing the game when you're set up to fail and to not have any fun at all. When you want to have fun. Like I said, killers don't want to just sit there and watch you die on a hook. It's boring. I, I guarantee you, you talk to any killer, they'll admit that. It's boring. It's not fun. Nobody wants to see that. That's why comp has changed it. I even thinking. Let's see. Uh, check Dead by Daylight Mobile. A while ago, Ubisoft has announced gameplay. Mm, four days ago. Let's see. Okay, wouldn't so instead of having it going this way, it now goes this way. That's the item. Okay. Five generators not repaired. They have talking. Is there talking in this game? <laughs> The, the mobile game has in chat communication. What? Oh my god. I'm gonna play Dead by Daylight Mobile. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck, fuck the PC version. I'm playing the mobile game instead. Fuck it. Clearly, they have more passion. For the mobile version, for obvious reasons, we all know fucking why. For the mobile version, than they do for the actual main game. That's just sad, man. They turned it off too. Oh my god. So his mic is muted, and he can't hear people talking. That's just why. Why? Why is this not in the game, man? What? What is this? Well, I want to know what this eye thing is, though. That's what I want. Oh, you can't even see it. My bad. My bad, bro. Look at this. He has his mic muted. And he's, I think he's, it might be in a party. I want to know what this eye thing is, though. He has a text chat right there, too. An emoji. Pick up. Crouch. And then the UI is shaped like this. I don't know what this is. I think they're unlocking the exit gate. I can't see what it says. The mobile game has in-game voice chat, but the base game that everybody's asking for m voice chat. Oh my god. I want to see the killer side. This was a year ago. Ah, uh, it's not like that, so I can't use that. Two months ago. Seven months ago. Why can't I just find something new? That would be great. This week, I guess. Okay. Bang. How to play mobile. Beginner guide. Okay. Is this going to be killer gameplay? It looks like it. Let's click this video. Perks, gens, hooks, flash, bottle, throw, add-ons, it tells you. UI right there. Gen got done that way. Is this game based on hooks though? The killer can't hear the voice chat, which makes sense. 
Where's the end game? Damn it, there's no end game check thing? Come on. Here we will hang her. Thank you. Get ready for watching the video. I hope. Come on, there's no end thing? Oh, I want to know if it counted the hooks or not. Damn it. Nope. Nope. A lot of survivor stuff. Not a whole lot of, uh. Not a whole lot of killer stuff, that's for sure. Oh, gameplay, no commentary. I'll take it. Okay. Is there an end screen? Here we go. Here we go. End screen. That's what I want to see. I want to see the end screen, sir. Merciless killer. Level up. Match emblem. Oh, is he going to skip everything? Okay, he doesn't skip everything. Thank God. All eerie. That's good. Damn. I don't know how to tell if... If, uh... Hooks are prioritized in this game or not. Does this tell you the him that he's in a party? Is that what that flag means? That he's in a party with these other guys? In a party with maybe at least one of the... No, it has to be these guys. Because Iron Will, Iron Will. Unbreakable, Unbreakable. It looks like they're bringing different perks. And I mean, it looks like they're in a party. Hmm. Repair. It tells you the repair progress? Lockdown, sacrifice, chase duration, heal, rescues, pallet hit, repair progression. Why is this not in the actual game itself? Post match. Oh, okay. Let's just chat. Got it. Oh, come on. Damn. I'm going to start playing the mobile game. I'm going to stall it right now. F it. <laughs> Playing the mobile game. F the PC version. The PC version sucks. But there you go. You know. There it is. That's actually. I'm so sad. Everything that people want is either in comp or it's in the mobile game. Comp has where it's more entertaining to watch people go for hooks, and people want that in the base game. And Dead by uh, the mobile version has it, so you can actually talk in game. And the killer shouldn't hear you talking, by the way. We all know that would be a huge mistake if the killer could hear survivors talking. Be so stupid. And uh, it has that in the game. Think of, how, think of how much more helpful it would be for people to hear each other in the game. Is it going to be like all fucking sunshine and rainbows? No, it's going to be pretty. But like if you're not playing with a squad, just mute or just mute that person. It's so simple. You have the option to mute. Anyway. Two other platforms outside of the main base game have things implemented in them that people want for the base game and the devs are just like, no. <laughs> this, that's crazy, man. That's so crazy. No wonder people don't want to play this fucking game anymore. Jesus. The devs are incompetent. Anyway, before I go on another ramble, this was an excellent video. What a good video. This person, like I said, easily easily could make rust videos no problem easily i want to take his kind of style of videos and try to implement myself because like reacting to stuff is easy but making a good quality video like this totally different i wish i knew how to make videos like these 100 percent. i might start watching more of these and just trying to piece together stuff myself anyway i hope you enjoyed this video this video was also another long one but just so much to talk about so much to talk. I had no idea that Patrick even left. I wonder if Matthew's still there. Hmm. But I had no idea that Patrick left. Okay. And, uh, pretty much it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that the devs realize that the sooner they make this game about hooks and start balancing it towards a more. <sighs> what can I say? More constructive way. Because you'll have more accurate data that represents how people actually play the game. The more people are going to be willing to come black, um, back. I don't know why I said black. <laughs> the more people are willing to, I saw Batman. <laughs> anyway, the more people are going to be willing to come back 
to the game and enjoy it, right? And t- you got to take out SBMM. SBMM should not be just in a regular pub game. It should just be in ranked. So when when you add in hooks over kills, you could also have a ranked mode because you're going to be able to have a more competitive environment in that regard because people are going to want to try to get better at trying to hook people rather than just outright killing them, which is boring. Nobody likes that. So I honestly think that if you were to implement ranked with hooks being the main focus, just like comp DVD, you're going to get more people getting an interest in not only ranked, but also into the comp scene a bit more too. Okay. Ranked is going to be a whole nother problem by itself, but with 300 developers on a game, you think that someone would be able to do something, but here we are. Anyway, I just went on a whole nother rant. <laughs> um, yeah, people want to, people are watching Dead by Daylight. People are not playing Dead by Daylight. And that ultimately is what the problem is of the game right now. People want to watch it, but they don't want to play it. They're waiting for a reason to come back to the game, which is why they're still focused on the content being produced from the game, from content creators like Coconut, like True, like Ots, all that stuff. They don't want to play it because it's too stressful and it's boring, it's stale. The balancing issues are so bad that people just give up. Like that exactly it is what it is. So I hope they realize that they're making a huge mistake. The longer that the the more they prolong hooks over kills. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, it was a long video, but a lot of information, a lot of good stuff in this video. If you haven't subscribed to Coconut, I would recommend subscribing to him one hundred percent. This is the second video I watched. Um before was some I don't know what it was, some controversy thing, I think, a thing I think it was. I have no idea. But the, the videos are good. I love it. So subscribe, leave a like. I'll have a link to the channel in the description. When I react to stuff, I usually put the link in, in the description box. And I add the person I'm reacting to as well. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next stream and or video that I post. Take care and bye-bye. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little